So we're going to be updating our G Pro X Superlight 2 to 4000 Hertz. To do that, if you followed my previous guide, we need to re-enable the ability to open up the Logitech G Hub software because this can eat up RAM and potentially cause frame drops and or stutters. So it's actually been a while since I've opened up the software since I don't need it, but I do want that update so I can go to 4000 Hertz. As you saw right there, it automatically knew there was a new update available, which is one of the reasons why we disabled this software because we don't want that stuff to be automatic checking in the background but this is good now since we want to update our mouse to 4000 Hertz so we're just gonna go ahead and click install now once you click install now, the G-Hub software will completely disappear off your desktop for about 10 to 15 seconds and it's completely normal don't touch anything just let it sit and it will come back and this is the screen you're going to be brought to once it finishes doing what it needs to do. So these are essentially the patch notes of all the things they've added. So you can see there's a couple fixes and some new games added. And then the big thing, of course, is now we have support for 4000 Hertz. So that was the update for the G-Hub software, but we still need to update the actual mouse and the light speed receiver. So next we're going to click on install down here. After I clicked on that, I got this little warning saying that they want you to connect the mouse directly to the cable itself and not be wireless. We're just going to plug in the mouse to the cable that it came with. So now it's plugged in and we're gonna try clicking install once more. Now it's asking me to plug in both the device and the dongle at the same time. And now I'm plugging in the dongle directly to the PC. So both are connected to my PC at the same time. That warning went away. Let's click on install and continue. So we can see a little progress bar at the bottom and a little warning saying do not close or quit the G-Hub software. My mouse is blinking while it's updating firmware update successful nice now we have the ability to go to 4000 hertz while wireless but we need to also update our onboard memory profile to make sure that it actually uses 4000 hertz when we're not using the logitech g-hub software so let's go do that now so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn off the onboard memory mode so just click this and now it's turned off and so now we can go into the mouse settings itself so now that we're in the settings what i actually recommend is deleting your old profile that way it doesn't get mixed up this isn't completely necessary but i just just like to make it more simplified and so I'm going to delete the old profile and just make a new one and I'm going to go back to my original one slot for now and I'm going to my personal favorite of 1600 dpi once again that's a personal choice dpi there really isn't a wrong answer and then for the wired report rate that's still going to be stuck at 1000 hertz but then for wireless we now have the ability to go to 4000 hertz a super quick reminder but make sure mouse acceleration is turned off in the window setting by going to the settings over here and making sure enhanced pointer precision is unchecked. This is super important, otherwise the accuracy of your mouse will be off. And then don't forget, if you do want to change LOD or lift off distance, you can also do that in the advanced settings. Let's open up our mouse tester. And so right now it's still stuck at 1000 Hertz because I'm still plugged in, I'm still wired, but I'm going to unplug the mouse now and we should be able to go up to 4000 Hertz. This is actually really nice. You can also see that while we went to 4000 Hertz, we're not getting any of those red or green marks that indicate inaccuracies with the mouse movement at all. This is is beautiful. And so also keep in mind that these report rates here of 4000 Hertz, this is essentially a soft cap, meaning this is how high the report rate can go if you're moving your mouse quick enough on your mouse pad. If you're moving the mouse slower, you can see the report rate is going to go much lower. A lot of these report rates here are under 1000 Hertz. But then if I swipe as quickly as I can back and forth, the report rate flies high. And that's completely normal. That's exactly how it's supposed to work. But that's also a reason why higher DPI can be better and lower latency because it saturates that pulling rate much quicker and much more efficiently. So now we have 4000 Hertz, but only while we have the Logitech G-Hub software open. So now we're going to add and save that profile to the onboard memory. We're going to go back to the onboard memory over here, turn it back on and then click on the mouse. So you can actually see the current settings of the onboard memory by clicking on the highlighted blue profile over here. So when we click on that and go to details, you can see we're not at 4000 Hertz yet. So now we're going to go back, click on it again, and then click on the desktop default profile here which was the new profile we just created it's going to take a second to load and then to confirm click on it once more go to details and now you can see we have our 4000 hertz one other change worth mentioning is that they changed the description of the gaming surface mode to on and auto as mentioned in my previous video this actually changes nothing whatsoever in terms of accuracy of the mouse and you can see the tracking over here is perfect we're not getting any red or green marks with the default setting of on which is what i recommend leaving it for for most people but then let's say if you are using a glass mouse pad or something 
something very unique and different in terms of mouse pads and or mouse feet. You can also go to auto over here to see if that solves any potential tracking issues. For me on a very standard mouse pad with very normal mouse feet, this changes nothing whatsoever in terms of tracking and accuracy of the mouse. So now that we have 4000 Hertz on our G Pro X Super Lite 2, there are a couple things you want to be aware of just in case you run into some issues. First of all, I want to talk about the realistic benefits you're getting. We're going from a delay of one millisecond to 0.25 milliseconds. So we're getting less than one millisecond in response time. And remember, that's not even happening at all times. That's only when you're maxing out the polling rate to reach 4000 Hertz, which will only really happen when you're swiping the mouse as fast as you can if your DPI is high enough that anything above 1000 Hertz really isn't going to provide any benefits. There is a visual clarity difference beyond 1000 Hertz, but in terms of realistic performance, you can go your entire life playing video games and never actually have this additional 0.75 milliseconds make a difference in any game whatsoever. Also running at 4000 Hertz is going to drain your battery dramatically faster, so keep a close eye on your battery life. And then the more important thing is that running at 4000 Hertz does demand a lot more resources on your computer, so it can potentially cause frame drops and or stutters on your games. So just to show you guys what I'm talking about, we're going to make sure we're at 4000 Hertz over here and we can confirm, yep, we're at 4000 Hertz. And then we're going to go to the task manager. Keep an eye on the CPU usage over here. I'm just going to make some small little circles. Our CPU usage is spiking up, which is completely normal, but it's going up to about eight, nine percent CPU usage and almost four gigahertz. But now let's go down to 1000 Hertz. Let's confirm 1000 Hertz with our polling tester. And now let's do the same thing. And so now we have a noticeable decrease in CPU usage by 2% and our gigahertz is now at 3.8. Depending on how powerful and what game specifically you're playing, this could be the difference between frame drops and or stutters in your games. Also, some games have been optimized specifically for 4000 Hertz and higher, and some games will have specific settings to ensure that higher Hertz will work properly. So be sure to check which game you're playing and see if they have any of those features. So in terms of best performance for gaming, yes, 4000 Hertz and higher is absolutely benefit, but the benefits are very negligible in terms of what you can realistically expect. Also, there are potential downsides such as draining your battery much quicker and higher CPU and computer resources. Personally, this isn't something that I would spend additional money on, and I was not expecting to get this update, but I'm really glad that it's here regardless. If your computer can handle it and you don't mind your battery draining significantly faster, by all means, run the higher hertz. This is definitely a nice upgrade. All the other settings that I recommend in my first best settings video, I still stand by today, and now I'm just happy that I can add going to 4000 hertz. So if you're curious about the best settings for gaming performance, be sure to check out that first video. And after six months, I still absolutely love my G Pro X Super Lite 2. It is an amazing mouse that I am just super happy with. So I hope this helps guys and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.